Coming up on this week's Falcon Fever. The men's basketball team is off to a hot start. See if they stayed undefeated over the break. Coach Hilbrick and the women are enjoying early success on the court. They're on a win streak. Let's do this, Coleman. It's Falcon Fever time. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm RJ Sievertsgaard. And I'm Coleman Sears. We hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving holidays, including you, Coleman. I had a great time, RJ. Had some turkey, had some good laughs, and even got to watch my doppelganger, Eli Manning, have a little success on the gridiron. Well, that's great. Yeah, and uh, well, now that the turkey coma has worn off, it's time to get to work. The men's basketball team was plenty busy while we were, while we were away, including a home game against Carver Bible in a road match at Miles College. The Falcons easily downed Carver 97-69. UM was led by senior DJ Rivera, who scored 24 to help the Falcons coast to the win. Two days before Thanksgiving, the guys headed 42 miles north to take on Miles. Rivera once again led the Falcons in scoring. He dropped 24 points on the Golden Bears to lift UM. Then, on the 25th, the Falcons hosted the Sailfish of Palm Beach Atlantic in Bank Trust Arena. This was definitely one for the highlight reels. Let's check them out. DeMarcus catch and get it started off here early in the second with a huge block. Then we send it out to Javon Jackson down low with a strong finish in traffic. He had 11 points and 13 rebounds, then with a double-double in the night. Here Rivera with the steal and a strong windmill finish down at the other end of the court. He had 12 points and a team high, 8 assists. And we see Rivera with some sweet moves here and he finds Jackson deep for the oop. hey -o! Let's run that magic back. Just a monster slam there. Montevallo tore through the match, shooting 49% on the night and holding the sailfish to just 30%. The final was Montevallo 70, Palm Beach 47. In the second game over the holiday break, the Falcons took on the Lions from North Alabama. Montevallo was off to a great start in the first five minutes, going on an 11-0 run. Freshman Ryan May with the pull-up. North Alabama battled with the Falcons the whole game and fought back to tie it up off a Beaumont Beasley half-court shot, making it 34-34 at the break. After the teams returned from the locker rooms, it seemed to be all North Alabama to the end. Let's hear what Jonas Brown had to say. We, did, we didn't play no defense. Like, our defense was horrible. Like, we blew assignments, uh, Sky Report, we running out to play with players that can't shoot and leaving the shooters wide open. Like, then we got out-rebounded, and they shot amazingly. Despite the great efforts from the team's leading scorer, DJ Rivera, with 29 points, and Brown with 18, the Falcons fell 72-67, which marked their first loss of the season. Senior Taylor Welch and the women's basketball team did well on the road at the UWF tip-off classic in Pensacola, Florida. The Falcons turned a nine-point halftime deficit into a narrow two-point win in overtime. Tiana Boxley led all scores with 17, but Siobhan Seymour was a monster. She scored her first double-double of the season with 14 points and 11 rebounds. Taylor Welch and Taylor Beverly came off the bench with 12 apiece. The next day, UM took on West Alabama, this time Tiffany McClure and Alex Strickland Leading the way for the Falcons, McClure scored 11 points on 4 of 6 shooting, and Strickland posted 10 in route to the 64-59 victory. Then the women's basketball team traveled to Birmingham on the 22nd to take on Miles College in a hard-fought victory. Sophomore Alex Strickland led the Falcons with 10 points, while freshman Taylor Beverly added 9. Siobhan Seymour dominated the glass, grabbing eight boards, and Tiffany McClure dished out five assists for the Falcons. The Lady Falcons shut down the Golden Bears 54 to 45. We caught up with Taylor Welch after. We all get along really good together. Um, we definitely have a team who we, we can find a way to win. Um, we've had a lot of close games, but all of them but one we've came out you know, with the win. So. It's definitely been good so far, and I think Coach Hilbert really has a positive influence on our program, and it's going good. The basketball season is just starting to heat up, Coleman. That's right, RJ. So let's look at this week's games. Both the men and women look forward to opening conference play at home in a doubleheader against Georgia Southwestern on December 3rd, starting at 1 p.m. The teams then stay in conference with another doubleheader on December 6th against Columbus State at the SAC. The women get things started at 5.30, and the tip-off for the men is tentatively set for 7.30.
Well, hopefully by now, all you fever fanatics know where it is to go to see past Falcon Fever episodes and get more Falcon sports news. On YouTube, just search Montevallo for you. Here you will find all our past episodes from the year and can find full interviews from players and coaches as well. And be sure to become our friend on Facebook. Just search for Falcon Fever. And you can follow us on Twitter by searching for UM Falcon Fever. And if you do tweet or leave a comment, it may be featured on next week's show. Also, for extended coverage of all Montevallo sports and its players, go to the athletic web website at www.montevellofalcons.com. Well, that's all we've got for you now. Tune in next week for our last show of the 2011 season. And what an interesting season and year it was. Absolutely. You've got me looking forward to the 2012 season for sure, if we're still here. I'm Coleman Sears. That's RJ Sievert's guard, and we'll see you next time.